I'm Kim. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Um, so I'm going to do another dip. Uh, last week I did it with canvas. And it was just okay. Um, but I've got a bunch of metallics and kind of neutral tones that I want to use up. So I'm going to do them on some tiles that I have that um, I had made coasters out of that didn't sell. So I figured just use those up and uh, see what we get. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start by cleaning all of these tiles with some just alcohol and a paper towel. Uh, just gets all the oils and stuff off, especially since they've been sitting a while. And then all of the paints I'm using are some there's some ribbon paint and just some others that are mixed at a ratio of one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And these are just, I have little bits that I need to use up except for this black and the Artist Loft White. I have full bottles of those. So I have um, copper. This is parchment, um, bronze, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. And then I also have some scraped paints that I'm going to use. And a little bit, that's more bronze, I think. So I want to do each tile a little different. So I am actually going to put these down, put down little four little squares of paint and then go ahead and dip the tile into the paint. And I'm going to kind of lay each one down a little different so that they turn out slightly different from each other. And we'll just kind of see what we get. So I'm going to put the tile 
down into the paint and then I kind of squish it down in and then I take the, the paint that's kind of come out on the sides and use it to um, cover each of the four sides. Alright, I'm just going to lift this up. I lift mine kind of on an angle. So now you can see. Um, not crazy about this one. I think I'm, I don't know, I might use the balloon to change it up a little. I don't know. But we're going to keep going on some of these others and then I'll come back to it.
guys are actually going to get a little bit of a bonus video. So I still have little bits of paint left in these pots and I really want to try and save these skins so I can use them for something else. So I'm, I think I'm going to use these paints to just kind of blend in the paint that's already on the can on the paper. And that's just plain white butcher paper too that I put down. Um, so yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna play around a little bit, try to just get rid of some of these little bits of paint that I have left.
All right, so here's a close-up of these coasters. Um, they're still wet. And I really like that one. It kind of looks like fire. That one, eh. And I really like this one. And the top of that one. So we'll see how these dry. All right, guys. So these tiles are done and I really liked them when they were wet. Um, they've since dried and I'm not as crazy about some of them. Let me show you. Sorry, I'm doing this in my, my office. Um, cause I had some other stuff going on. So I was like, let me just do this real quick. Let's see. So this is one that I used the balloon on. Um, it's okay. In some ways, it kind of looks like snowflakes in there. I don't know if you can see this really well. But it's not my favorite. Um, this one somehow ended up with a cell right in the middle. It's a little weird. This one... For some reason, these turned out really dull. They don't always do that. So I'm not sure what was going on with the paint, but I would have liked this one if it wasn't for the big glob of paint right in the middle. I think this is probably one of my favorites. And this one, because um, these look the way dips are supposed to look. And then um, these last two are also, you know, the way a dip is supposed to look. So I like these. I, I will probably varnish and then list these on my website. The others I might just paint over again. I'll let them sit a while and think about them. But anyways, if you like the video, um, click the like, the subscribe, and keep coming back and leave me a comment. Bye guys. See you next time.